So we put out the other day on um, the socials um, that there, we, we were talking about what we felt was kind of one of the, the greatest indicator of performance um, out there. And I originally had thought about that and, and felt that adaptation was that indicator. <clears throat> um, because if you cannot adapt, you're not going to thrive. And although there's no real wrong answer to this, is there's been a lot of great answers that we've seen, um, especially from like mentally and all that. Like you have to have a, a, a pretty damn good mental outlook on stuff in order to succeed and, and do well. But that does not necessarily mean you are going to be very good at what you're doing if you can't recover from it or you cannot adapt from it, right? Um, and, and this has actually changed into what we call aerobic function or high aerobic function. Maybe you could say aerobic base to some degree or aerobic capacity to some degree, but um, the fact is, is not every human being needs to have a high aerobic capacity or high aerobic um, base, um, but you do need to function aerobically quite well. And the fact is, is um, we have trillions of cells in the body, including the brain, um, that are called mitochondria. And the brain's made up of cells itself. And that is a indicator that those cells actually need to function very well off of this molecule called oxygen. And when we don't utilize that very well, we see things in just about every single disease out there from mental disorders to cancer, to heart disease, to COPD, asthma, diabetes, blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. You see respiration disorders. And that, that does not suggest that you need to actually, that you've got a respiration issue. We were of sound mind at this point that breathing or respiration is the first line of indicating what's happening. So if you're stressed, your respiration rate changes. If you're calm, your respiration rate changes and so on. So in an instance where I have disease or I have something going on chronically, whether I'm anxious, whether I'm depressed, whether I'm dealing with symptoms of whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's the respiration pattern changes. And if that respiration pattern changes, that doesn't actually help us. And this is what we see with a lot of athletes is that we over, we tend to over breathe a lot when we get stressed or we're working harder. And so if we have a poor adaptation to CO2, we, which a lot of us do have because we don't consciously think about our breathing. And, and this is why we harp on the nasal breathing stuff is because your nose was built with your respiratory system in mind. And we're not dogs, we're not animals, so we don't need to actually offload um, air to cool down. But if you look at horses, even horses racing, you're not gonna see horses with mouths open. Even with the bit in, you're gonna see them down and you're gonna see them breathing through that nose, right? And the, the nose has allowed for us to have higher, well, it hasn't allowed, it's forced <laughs> higher levels of CO2, which in turn basically force those oxygen molecules to get kicked off on the red blood cell in the blood. So the higher the carbonic acid or the, or the more in line the carbonic acid, which is your uh, CO2 in the blood, the more adequate you are to kick that oxygen mo molecule off in order to use it for fuel, especially with inside the cells. And so when I'm deficient with inside the cells or I'm over breathing or I'm not doing these things, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm out of line with that or I'm constantly stressed, <sighs> I'm, I'm over breathing and I'm blowing CO2 off, thus not allowing for that aerobic potential. So I do believe aerobic function sits at the highest place. And this is because the higher the aerobic function, the more fit you are, the easier it is to recover, the easier it is to get back to things. And the higher that aerobic function towards those upper levels of your max heart rate, the easier it is for you to function at very high stress points when we're working. Now, take that into everyday life and you just need to be able to understand your breathing patterns and use that as a cue for the intensity of something that's happening. So this is why we think aerobic, or I feel that aerobic function 
is such a key indicator to performance.